Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, if it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to subscribe, you're welcome to share, you're welcome to like. I tend to talk on about a variety of topics, whatever gets my fancy. If somebody sends me a video or if somebody sends me an email or a suggestion, I'll talk on it. So today, someone sent me um, a video. It's quite disturbing. Um, I'm not quite sure if I can show it all, but I'll show you enough for you to get the point. But basically, it's about um, a gentleman in Kenya. Um, this happened last the ninth. Yeah, it happened last Wednesday, I believe. And somebody actually filmed him being built, beaten with a wire cane by a Chinese employer in Kenya. And this was one of the, um, only one of many. Apparently, they took the cane and passed it around to different employers to beat the person. And guess what the penalty was? Guess what he had done wrong? He had arrived late. A form of corporal punishment. Only really is exploitation, it's adult abuse, it's all of, all of the above. So I'm going to show you the video and um, and then I'll do a little talk about it afterwards. Chinese nationals will spend their night in police custody after they were arrested by detectives Sunday in Kilimani area after one of them was caught on camera caning a Kenyan employee for allegedly arriving late for work. Well, the four run a restaurant in Kilineshwa and are said to administer corporal punishment on employees who find themselves in the wrong. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, police say the Chinese nationals who run the She Wu restaurant have no work permits. <laughs> Tuesday, 28th of January this year, and this is how the morning started for Simon Oseko. Two painful strokes of the cane. This is apparently the standard operating procedure here at Ches Wu Restaurant, a Chinese restaurant in Kilaneshua area of Nairobi. We find him in his home in the outskirts of Nairobi. Now jobless, he says he was fired after reporting to the police when he was caned. Uh, they don't speak out. So for me, this was too worse. I, it had uh, This was so painful. Just Fast forward to Sunday, and the detectives following up on the case arrested four Chinese nationals. The four, including the man seen in the footage caning Oseko, Beng Hilan, he is in the country on a visitor's visa, working as a chief chef without a work permit. Chang Yuping, whose visitor's visa expired, also working as a chef without a work permit. Same as Oli Ki Yang, also working as a chef in the restaurant with an expired visitor's visa and no work permit. And Yu Ling, a holder of a Chinese passport with a valid visitor's visa but no work permit. Sunday morning outside the restaurant, activists up in arms against the alleged mistreatment of Kenyan workers. Amidst the protest, we meet Victor Kagai. He is the one who recorded the clip. He says the disquiet among his colleagues was growing. Well, you can't understand yeah, this, and it's not interpreted, so it's no point me continuing, but you do get the gist of what's happening. Um, I'm just going to read out what I um, printed off. It's come from the African News, um, and that was the 11th. Uh, what's today? Today's the 12th. So yesterday this came out and it said a Kenyan TV station on Saturday broadcasted a video that showed a Chinese man caning a Kenyan in an open compound. K24 Digital, describing the footage as disturbing, said it was an exclusive clip of the Chinese meeting punishment to a late employee. The video was showing a senior Chinese hotel officer whipping a, a Kenyan waiter 
over allegations of reporting late to work. The video was recorded at Shewu restaurant in Kele, Kelelishwa, Nairobi, last week. The said worker is seeing being instructed to lean on tables while he took while they took terms to flog him without showing mercy to the expressions of pain and writhing by the unnamed employee. You see how people are wicked. And to make it worse, they're not even legally in the country. So they go into, they, they have their restaurant in Nairobi. These are Chinese people. Have their restaurant in Nairobi, employing, employing local workers. And that's how they treat them, as though they have a right to abuse them. And for arriving late, why don't you just dock their pay like any other employer? Or give them a warning. Or if you don't, if they arrive late, sack them. And this particular gentleman, I read it somewhere. He only he stayed because he couldn't afford to be out of work, and he had he left. He was out of work anyway. In the end, so why take all that flogging and beating? It's really quite disturbing. On Sunday, that Sunday just gone, the Police Directorate of Criminal Investigations (DCI) acknowledged the incident by quoting the K24 tweet and said it had dispatched detectives to probe the video and circumstances around it. Their findings revealed that the aggressor was indeed a Chinese national by the name of Deng Halan, a chef, who was an illegal economic migrant because he was working without the necessary documents. Also arrested were two other chefs, Xiang Yuping, and Wu Qian, who hold expired visas. Chang holds a work permit, but his compatriot doesn't. But you'd think they'd keep their little bloody selves quiet if they're illegal. It just shows you that they feel they have rights and they can do whatever they want. I wonder if that was, I wonder if it was their own people if they would do that. Yuling, a cashier at the hotel holding a visitor's visa but without a work permit, was also arrested. Eight Kenyans who work at the hotel were also escorted to Kilimani police station for further interrogation. Meanwhile, on Monday, the quartet were arraigned before a court which ordered that they be kept in custody for three days as investigations continued into Saturday's incident. For their part, the Chinese embassy in Kenya said it was in the no of the video, but that it supports investigations that are underway. This is the Chinese embassy saying, we support the Kenyan police to investigate the whole issue thoroughly, according to Kenyan laws. Whoever violating the law will face the legal consequences. Their tweet read in part. And can you imagine... All of these situate, all of these serious allegations and this serious business is going back and forth by tweets. Is tweet now the official language? Following reports of an incident during rounds in sections of the press depicting a man of Asian descent assaulting a male employee said to be working at the hotel this morning, detectives from Kilimani raided Shez Wu restaurant in Kelelashwa in pursuit of the matter. Corporal punishment, which is what they alleged to be meeting out, is when a person in authority uses physical force with intention of causing pain for disciplinary purposes. There's a distinction between corporal punishment, which they used to dish out in schools, and recognising adult abuse, exploitation and neglect, which that is. So I just want to give you a little bit about abuse, um, exploitation and neglect of adults at risk, and it can happen in different ways. Identifying adults at risk, which these employees are or were, an adult at risk of harm is a person aged 18 or over whose exposure to harm through abuse, exploitation or neglect may be increased by their personal characteristics or life circumstances. In this case, poverty.
because he had to work there and he didn't really, well, I don't know if he had a choice. They reckon that there's not much employment for local Kenyans. Such a shame. Identifying adult abuse, it is abuse when someone misuses their power or control over another person, causing harm or distress. An abuser can be a partner, relative, person entrusted to act on behalf of the adult, a neighbour, health, social care worker, employer in this case, or persons or people who have no previous connection with the victim. I just want to say thank God for the video because can you imagine if that video never got out, those those poor people would be suffering like that. I mean, what do they think this is? They think this is what, 1791 or something? What planet are they on? You see, some people are so hostile, they've got so much anger and hatred inside them. And, you know, they can't take it out at home. At home, he's probably as docile as a little lamb and his wife probably rules the roost. So he comes and takes it out and his employers at work. I think it's really, really disgusting. Physical abuse is physical force or mistreatment of one person by another, which might or might not cause physical injury. Type of abuse cause hitting, pushing, rough handling, exposure to heat or cold, force feeding, improper administration of medication, denial of treatment, misuse of illegal use of restraint, not being allowed to go where you wish to go, when you wish to go. And of course you have psychological and emotional abuse. Um, in that, in, in that circum, in that, those situations, they were saying that um, they, they can either take so much of their money or they could take the licks. And then when they realised it was going to get out, they were trying to bribe the person who took the film um, to stop him from showing it. I don't understand why people do things that are wrong, blatantly know that they're wrong, and just because they think they can get away with it, continue it. Where's their moral compass? Don't they have any? Psychological and emotional abuse is harmful behaviour that can cause mental distress. And I would consider what that Kenyan man went through that was psychological and emotional abuse. I mean, there must have been a valid reason why he was late. Because if you know you're going to get those licks, are you going to be late? I'll tell you something, I'd be there before dawn. We can't take PNR. Okay, um, what else do I want to say? And I think that's all I'm really going to say about that. I think it makes it clear, the message is clear that it's going on. It has been going on for a while. I hope it's not widespread and I hope by um, catching these four culprits, it will stop. Okay, the people in the hotel no longer have a job. But I mean your well-being and going to work with peace of mind or not even going to work with peace of mind, but being treated like an individual instead of being treated like a dog has to be better. It just has to be better. They just have to be creative and think of another way to make some money. And that's all I've got to say. Bye bye.